Hi everyone, this is Laura and welcome to my channel. Um, I have a quick project share for you guys and I am going to do again double duty. I love doing double duty. I feel very accomplished <laughs> when I do double duty. Um, but before I get to that, these are my little projects. I did forget to put my sign out. There's my sign. Um, this is going to serve double duty here. I will move the sign now. We had enough of the sign. I used several of my dies from Diamond Dies. I did use one of the newer dies, which is the Swirly Flourish, which is this one right here for this particular project. Um, and I'm going to get to that in a second. So Valentine's Day is coming up and I am in a swap with a very sweet, sweet friend. Her name is Rosa and I have a package that I have to send out to her. And I decided along with what I already made for her, I made her a card and um, a little tea caddy of mine. And so I wanted to share with you some of the newer dies before I share those projects with you. Now these were all the newer dies that were just released. We have the Remembrance Ribbons, we have the Easter Eggs, and what I love about these Easter Eggs, you get the outline, so this can be a solid. Um, you get this one that has the little chevron, little zigzags, and the little holes. It really makes for a beautiful cut, guys. I have cut these, I've shared them on my channel already. Um, you can layer them or leave them as is. You have the little chick and the little bunny rabbit, which I love. And I am going to be working on a um, farm mini album. Think I'm not going to put these in there? Of course I am. We have the little ticket die. We have this beautiful heart filigree die. And guys, you really have to see how this, when it cuts out, oh my gosh, it just adds, it just adds so much to a project. We have the large remembrance ribbon, and then we have the little bunny rabbit. Um, so for my project, besides the swirly flourish, which is one of the newer dies, I used many of my flower dies. I used my um, fancy flower die. I used my mini rosettes. Um, I used my sugar plum flowers, and I used my cherry blossom flowers as well. I also used my diamond dies nesting ovals and nesting scalloped ovals. Um, I also used my diamond dies heart die set and of course the purpose of this particular project was to also use as many dies as I possibly could for the die hard Wednesday challenge. Um, this is my little project for that as well. And that's just a personal challenge. It's not, um, it's not for anything except to challenge ourselves. And that's, I feel, is the best challenges because it just motivates and inspires us to use what we have in our stash. So let me just share the card with you first. It is a 6 by 6 card. And I did use the Prima, um, I think this is called the Lyrics Paper Pad. It's a pretty old pad. I was trying to trying to use it and oh no it's divine I am so sorry that's the name of it it's the divine paper pad and I put a tiny little dent <laughs> in this not like the other paper pad that I um, swallowed up with that project this I made a tiny little dent in these papers so again six by six card I have here the diamond dice first I covered it with of course with the papers from that collection I added some ribbons and some lace in the background here I have that uh, Diamond Dyes Flourish, the Swirly Flourish die. This is a Spellbinders die that I have here in the background. This is a La La Land Heart Banner die that I added some stickles and some pearls to. Over here I have a Tilda Magnolia Heart Ticket die that I covered in flowers. You can barely see it now. Over here I have some tulle. This is one of my sugar plum flowers, sugar plum flowers, mini rosette flowers, mini, mini rosette flower, fancy flowers. Um, 
these are the cherry blossom flowers sugar plum flowers lots of sprays um, the diamond dyes medley of leaves dye all these were made using diamond dye flower dyes now guys I know that I sound like a broken record and if I do please forgive me but I just I have a lot of friends that purchase diamond dyes and when they see the flowers they're they love the flowers and I'm just gonna give a quick example and I'm not knocking the flowers I still love buying my little mini rosettes because of my fingers I can't do the roses um, but I think I made a nice floral arrangement here and guess what I didn't buy any of these I made all of these and there's dimension and they're not gonna get flat and of course they're not anything like the wild orchids flowers or the I am roses flowers or those prima flowers but I think they're they're not those but they're better because like I've been saying you can cut out these papers to the pattern paper like I did here with these little um, sugar plum flowers this is actually pattern paper so of course it's gonna go great and coordinate with your project and I think that's what I love the most about the dyes I love dyes because I get to play with them and I can manipulate them I can cut them up use them any way I want if I want to use it in pieces and whole like I did here with the little swirls I cut them apart tuck a piece here tuck another piece there I just love that and I love the fact that you can coordinate it with your project based on your needs um, you can't always do that with things you purchase you hope and pray that when you get it home it matches with everything so I think those are the big benefits of having these flower dyes another thing I love about these flower dyes of uh, you know as opposed to all the other flower dyes out there and I have a few of them I have a few of the spellbinders I have a few of the heartfelt creations um, what I love the most about diamond dye dyes their flower dyes is unlike the spellbinders or all these other companies um, you have to you have to cut some of these flowers you have to cut like 20 cuts then you have to put them together because they're in pieces with these dyes you don't have to do that of course the more layers you put on your flowers the more dimensional but they you get a flower with one cut one cut you get a flower <coughs> now you can layer them and add more to them but what I love is that you cut out the whole entire flower not bits and pieces of petals and stamens and and stamens and all that stuff you get the whole complete flower that's what I love and now I got on my soapbox and I forgot about my project I am so sorry it's just I that's how Adam and I am about them I just love them anyway down here I have a little border dye that I happen to use as a little footrest for my little um, Tilda Magnolia image here that I colored in with my Copics I did distress everything with hickory smoke distress inks and I have a little heart-shaped little cameo and some flat back pearls I have some sprays from my stash and some more tool and some more flat back pearls and then on the inside I left it pretty plain um, and I did that on purpose and I left this really big here plain because I although I made this card for Rosa I don't want to write inside it I want to leave it for her to be able to either keep for herself or use whichever one she decided to do um, here's my little tea caddy again using the same papers I covered it up covered up the whole little box I have some metal um, corners here that I used from my stash and then I have some little flat back pearls um, here is one of these spellbinder dies here is one of the um, diamond dye oval dies some more diamond dye flowers that I made using my diamond dye flower dies I have the little fancy swirly flourish underneath all this stuff I have some metal charm pieces I have a little teapot I have this little I don't even know what to call it a swirly um, and then I painted it in pink I have these little acrylic stars that are also from my stash and of course I have the little ribbon and of course this does open up and I have some yummies inside waiting for her um, and I have these little die-cut teacups 
saucers and tea bags from Avery L. Um, so yeah, I put as many dies as I could into these two projects. Um, okay, the Die Hard Wednesday is being hosted by Betty, who's Scrap Passion Zero One. So if you guys want to join in on this challenge, go on over to Betty's channel. Um, like I said, she's Scrap Passion Zero One and be inspired by her channel and her beautiful projects that she's doing on a weekly basis as well and also if you want to join these amazing die challenges if you want if you're a card maker and you want to join a secret card swap and it sounds like a lot of fun to you go on over to the diamond dies facebook page we have a secret card swap going on if you are a die lover and you want to share your projects on the Diamond Dice Facebook group page, go on over and do that too. D has um, these hidden giveaways sometimes just for posting pictures of your projects and using at least one Diamond Die on them. She'll randomly pick um, a person on a monthly basis and then you'll win a gift certificate to her store. And if you're just a die lover like I am, go on over and check out Diamond Dice. You will not be disappointed buy these flower dice I promise you um, also check out all the other amazing dice this new flourish swirly die you're gonna love it guys you really are it is so pretty and it just adds the right touch to any little project I have a 12 by 12 layout that I will share um, hopefully today or tomorrow um, wait till you see it I just love the way it came out <laughs> anyways um, where I used a lot of the newer dies. So guys, that's it for me. Um, again, don't know when I'll be loading this, but it will be soon. And hopefully I won't spoil Rose's fun again. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a very, very blessed day. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye for now.